it's basically a project that tries to capture a lot of information uh, about the, our patients. It analyzes millions of records every second and it captures this information from several information systems in the hospital and it tries to find risk patterns in uh, specific clinical areas so it can detect um, and predict uh, if the patient is going to have a problem in areas such as the clinical uh, deterioration risk, uh, if he, infection control, and also in terms of uh, misuse of antibiotics. So we try to fire alarms using big data, analyzing this information quickly, and alerting our physicians and nurses for problems that the data might already be revealing. Well, uh, from an, an IT perspective, one of the challenges is try to collect information from different systems that come from different vendors. So you need to be a, a, a little bit resilient on this and push the vendors to share the data with us. Uh, from a, a human perspective, uh, what we found challenging is uh, getting the physicians buy-in. So you need to, to get them into the process. They need to, to be part of the team. Uh, and not only be the, the end user. They need to help you develop the solution because otherwise it won't work, it won't uh, solve their problems. They need to be part of the team. This, I think it's the most important advice I can give to my colleagues. Yes, one of them is that we are, uh, for instance, in the infection control area, we are uh, isolating patients a lot faster than we were before this uh, solution because uh, our infection control team can know about uh, the, the patients which, which are infected with multidrug resistant bacteria in advance. As soon as the lab gets that data into the database, we have a bunch of algorithms that analyze this data and fire alerts to, to isolate that patient immediately. And also in, in the antibiotics misuse area, we can now control uh, all the hospital, what, is, what are the patients taking in terms of antibiotic therapy and uh, fire uh, alarms if the antibiotic course is uh, not adequate for that kind of patient. So we, we empowered our stewardship team with data and they can act daily on our several departments and, and uh, change the behaviors which obviously contributes to uh, reducing inf infections and better use of antibiotics. Uh, and finally, we also have uh, in the clinical risk area, we can uh, predict in advance some uh, serious situations of risk and fire alerts also about hemodynamic instability, um, in infection problems, uh, just looking at the, the movie, just looking at how the, that patient data is evolving and finding patterns on it that are worrying patterns. Well, they, they, sometimes they don't know where that data is coming in. Uh, but I, I honestly don't think that's important. Uh, sometimes they receive these alerts, uh, they see them, they act upon them, but uh, they don't know if this is a big data system of, or if this is a fancy algorithm. Uh, honestly, that doesn't uh, matter. What matters is delivering the right data to the right person at the right time. And, and you need to, to do it simple, in a simple way. Maybe a, a text message in the mobile phone, maybe an alert in the MR. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the kind of algorithms we have behind it. Uh, it just matters that you deliver that information and that you can change uh, effectively the medical practice. Thank you.